Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to more Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, today we're going to be doing chapter 26. And boy do I like the sound of that because when you say let's do chapter 26 out of 29 chapters, safe to say you're very close to being done. Ooh, can't wait for this game to be over. Well, in uh, the info conversations for this um, chapter, you really don't learn that much. Uh, this soldier talks about uh, what to do when you're uh, fighting against an opponent that's uh, totally has the advantage over you. And Ike's just going to say, well, study the enemy first and then uh, make a decision based on that, which is kind of basic information if you ask me. And then there's this other info conversation between Ike, Rayson, and Tabarn. Nothing much really happens here either, though. So, yeah. Kind of a boring info conversation chapter, if you ask me. But thankfully, um... Well, uh, well not thankfully, I guess, but... Uh, there aren't any support conversations for this battle. And these info conversations are pretty short, so... We get to dive straight into the chapter after this. So chapter 26, in my opinion, not a very hard chapter. If I had to say anything, I'd say this is probably the easiest chapter of the final five chapters. There's just not very much you have to worry about. It's very easy to move around. There aren't really very many hard parts of the chapter. And it's just like one giant boring landmass. It's it's just like a giant field. That's all this chapter is. So yeah, not very hard at all. Oh, and before the chapter, Princess Alencia is going to approach us in clothes, in new clothes. And then also with a pegasus. So, apparently, Alencia can ride a Pegasus. And she is actually going to be joining us in the field of battle. Uh, she has a special unit. Uh, her unit is just called Princess Alencia. Or Princess Crimea, I think is the actual name. And uh, the unit is a flying unit, obviously. So, uh, keep her away from archers. And keep her away from just other units that have... Uh, giant effect against uh, flying units and then also uh, Alencia can use a sword and she can also use a staff as well so she can use swords and staffs she can be a very helpful unit though uh, since she is a flying unit she has a giant range so you could heal a unit and then get her quickly out of uh, reach of the enemy and then if you have a physics staff that's even more help so she's actually a very good unit to use. Uh, only problem is she comes at level 1. Which is uh, pretty small for this point in the game. So yeah, I wouldn't say she's the best healer we have right now. But she will be very helpful in the next battle. Uh, we are forced to take her in this battle. And I think we're supposed to take her in the final battle as well. But I don't remember for sure. I haven't played this game in a while, obviously. But either way, just be careful with her. Uh, an archer could pretty much take her down in one shot. So we are facing Commander Bertram. Uh, not much is really known about Bertram. Uh, he actually is one of the Day in Four Riders. Uh, Patrine was also a Four Rider, and so is... Uh, the Black Knight, even though the Black Knight doesn't really ride, he's <laughs> a general, but that's not really a qualification, I guess. But yeah, Bertram is one of the four riders of Dan. He's actually a relatively new member of the riders. Uh, he joined Dan only recently, and not, not many people knew about him until, like, after the fall of Crimea, so... Yeah, Bertram has a very, very strange history. Uh, mostly because no one really knows about him, anything about him. 
Also, for this battle, I actually had a few extra spots open. So I brought a few extra units. I brought Largo, Joffrey, Har, and for no reason I also brought Janaf, I guess. And I just felt like adding another little goose unit to the battle, but didn't really need to, I guess. You could probably even get away with just not taking those four extra units and just taking the units you want to take. Not a very bad uh, solution if you ask me. But I just took some of the more stronger units that had a very high level and then I just gave them a few weapons. I'll probably remove those weapons for the next chapter though when I'll think I have a smaller group of uh, units to take with me. And I just realized my convoy is 70% full right now. I didn't really realize that until now. I'm probably going to have to be careful with that. Give him the short axe, and I guess that's it. Yeah, I just gave all these units two weapons. I gave him a killer axe and I guess a Tama, or no, a Laguz axe. No, a silver axe. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot when I did these chapters, so I don't remember every little thing I did. And then, uh, obviously you want to start out with your sword units because you have some warriors right off the bat. Uh, there's also some sword masters on the left side of the battle, uh, behind those trees. Uh, they're not right behind the trees, they're a little bit farther to the left. Uh, so make sure you have some lance users over here, and then just send them left when you uh, go to advance on the sword masters. Be careful of those uh, uh, warriors, though. One of them has a killer axe, and the others will just get annoying if you keep them around you for so long. I don't think any of them actually wield a bow, though. Uh, warriors do wield bows, as you know, but I don't think any of those uh, warriors specifically have a bow to use. And I'll leave all the units I really don't feel like using in the back. And of course, as I promised, I'm going to be turning on a lot of battle animations for this battle. Just so I can get some of those... Uh, get some of those out of the way and then hmm. I don't need to see hard Joffrey and Largo though but I'll turn on Alencia just in case and I think that's it I'll show I'll turn on Ike's in the next chapter uh, that's when I'll probably do him and then I'll probably turn on Volks for the next chapter as well and then for the chapter after that, I'll turn on Mist and Rise, and then I'll pretty much be done. <laughs> That's kind of funny how I like say he said nothing for the first two questions, but then for his third answer, he actually spoke in a full sentence. So yeah, Soren's going to talk to Ike about the Four Riders of Dan. And uh, he's also going to mention how General Bertram is uh, relatively new and has uh, no one really even knows where he came from. So yeah, that's the deal with Bertram. But then we can get started with this chapter. As you can see, kind of bland. It's just really one giant landmass with a few trees every uh, there every now and then. And then of course there's also a mountain range, but. The mountain range doesn't really play in, in, into any effects, so... Yeah, very simple chapter, very simple goal. Very easy to progress. They make this chapter seem a lot harder than it actually is, and... Some of these enemies are pretty tough, but... If you just use your weapon advantages... And send out your strongest defenders first... You'll be okay. I mean, there's nothing really to worry about here. Also, there is going to be some footage cut from these battles. I didn't cut anything from here in this video, but uh, I need to cut about four minutes of footage just so I can fit all of this chapter into five videos. Uh, it normally wouldn't take me five videos, though. It's just with all the battle animations I added on that made the chapter longer than it needed to be. And that is a motorcycle, if you heard that. 
Come on, Ike. Yeah, see, we got some sword masters over here. So we'll deal with them accordingly. Put Nephany over here. Nephany is actually pretty high leveled, so I didn't want to use her weight that much. But I did end I did use her quite a bit though. For this chapter. I think Ike will probably be the MVP because I also need to get Ike up to level 20 by the end of the next chapter, so. I'm gonna be using Ike for quite a bit in the following chapters. And that about ends it. That about does it for this video. This is Slim Kirby. See you in the next video, which will be uploaded shortly. Later, guys.